The fittest winner is not just a journey of six contestants. It's a journey of six contestants and all of you, the online participants. We are doing this together. We are striving to be great together. Hi, I'm Tiffany Robb and welcome to The Fittest Winner, the ultimate journey towards greatness. And we just came off of Temptation Avenue. And so I was listening to some of your requests. Some of them, I'm like, I'm bored with what I'm eating or can I ever eat something sweet? So don't worry, I have you covered. I have brought in a specialist. I have here Athene Farmer. She's a holistic health coach. And she's going to show us some meals that we can have with five ingredients or less. But we are finicky eaters, right? We don't just eat anything. We have to make sure that our ingredients are clean, whole ingredients. So the lesson here is to prepare your food, but read your labels. And she's going to show you how we can do healthy eating that's fast, that's easy to do, that tastes great, and that you can do it on a nice budget and really enjoy what you're eating without feeling deprived when you go out to eat. Well, one of the things that I hear often hear when women are starting this journey towards health is that you know they love their pasta, they love their bread products, and that's really important to acknowledge because I don't want people to feel deprived. Uh, what I use to make this beautiful zucchini pasta, and you can see it's just kind of curly, um, is using this, it's called the spiralizer, and you put the zucchini here and just twist it, and then out comes the zucchini pasta. I'm using a sauce that I've made uh, before, and this has basil, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of honey, a little bit of salt, and just, it, it's a pesto, but it doesn't have the nut. Right, it doesn't have the nuts or the cheese. That looks delicious. Exactly, and a little bit of olive oil. If you want to do cooked pasta, you could also cook these with a marinara sauce. You really want to make sure that the sauce that you're buying does not have sugar added, which a lot of the sauces do. Yeah. So, for instance, this one has tomatoes, onions, garlic, carrots, water, tomato paste, um, sea salt, garlic, and spices. So it's a very clean sauce. You want to keep an eye out for evaporated cane juice. Evaporated cane juice actually is another form of sugar. So that's yeah. just a sneaky little way. Syrup. Yeah, food, food companies are you know, really smart now with their labeling. They're not just going to put sugar. They're going to see evaporated cane juice. Right. That still is a form of sugar, so just be aware of that. What about high fructose corn syrup? It's the worst. Yeah. All the themes of you know, eating emotionally or making the right choices or being discerned about our food, they're all going to roll together into one healthy lifestyle on our journey to greatness. We are going to talk about how we did on Temptation Avenue, but first I want to kind of recap what happened with Dr. Nicola Burr because we had our sessions with her and you know I recommend that everyone do her program whether you feel like you have emotional eating issues or not. I think that there's something really beneficial to be gained from having a session with her because she's amazing. So let's start with Brittany. Um, tell me like when you had the session with her basically what did you expect going into it and what did you get coming out of it? realizing like the things that you've been dealing with that you haven't recognized like me being bullied I didn't realize that led me to eating the way I did but coming out of it was amazing I learned to just love me love all of me even if I like stumble and eat something tempting or something that's un you know more unhealthy for me just you know breathe about it and just say you know what I got another day I can do better tomorrow and just love me, love who I am right now. You know, the issue of being bullied was really poignant for me because you don't know, think about some of the effects that we actually press down, especially our childhood incidences. We kind of push them down and we find mechanisms to deal with it. And food is one of the easiest ways to do that. Dancers are already highly critical of themselves. You just grow up being critical. Like, it's, there's nothing you can do about that. But I didn't realize how much that inner voice was actually attacking me as a person. It would be like, oh, you're done. Like, this is not for you anymore. You've lost your talent. You've lost what you've had. Well, now I'm like, I recognize the voice. I didn't even know that voice was there. Yeah, I just nice. like, it's kind of like a inner voice. It's like a, this like subtle justification you don't even realize you're doing. Yeah. on the Tiffany Rock Workouts app or on my Fit Club. And it's really important when I ask you guys to do these assignments, it's not just for you. 
it's for everybody else. Because I want to make sure that this journey is not one that we're stepping alone. When you guys are done with this, you have to be leaders. You have to be motivators. You have to be not only inspiring yourselves, but others around you with all of your positive choices, with your healthy, fit bodies, with your new lifestyles. So in order to do that, you have to inspire people. And I was most inspired this week by Glenji. Oh. <laughs> And this week's winner for the OPs is Christina Yabumoto from Japan. So this week's challenge, we are going to clean out our cabinets. This is the challenge. Go home, read your labels, check out what's there. Listen, I know that, you know, it gets hard out there, you know, economically, and I'm not telling you to like get rid of food but you have to be discerning about what you're eating. So you don't want to have those chemicals in your body. This is a choice that you have to make. So make that choice for yourself. Clean up those cabinets. And remember that concept of like free, or you know, or if, you have to eat, if you eat something, you're like, I have to eat everything. No, you don't. Be really discerning about what's in your body. And post a picture for me of your before and your after shot of your cabinets. All the themes of you know eating emotionally or making the right choices or being discerning about our food, they're all going to roll together into one healthy lifestyle on our journey to greatness. This week's recommendation is the downloadable ebook by Athene Pharmas to help you stay off of Temptation Avenue and stay on your healthy living journey. Athene has gotten for us 55 recipes with five ingredients or less that are healthy, that are nutritious, that are just excellent for you and taste great and can be made very, very quickly. So if you want to have access to those recipes, just click on the link in the description box. Do your challenge, get your recipes, you guys are set. Don't forget to join us in the workout tomorrow and tell all of your friends about the Fitness Winner Challenge and they have to sign up so they can get all the benefits that we have on the Fitness Winner Challenge. Stay tuned tomorrow for a brand new Fittest Winner Workout.